This is Ajay for Tech Primers. In this new series, we are going to see what is there in my Mac. So as a start, in this series, we are going to see the software XMind. So if you had noticed in all my uh, videos, I would have used XMind. So what is XMind? So if you are aware about mind mapping, uh, so mind mapping is nothing but a visual representation of an idea. Usually the uh, there will be an idea which is the center, which will be in the center. So for example, if you see this particular mind map, by default came up with the X mind. So this the idea for this particular mind map is welcome to X mind. So this is the central idea, and there are different ideas which are associated with it, which are uh, arranged around it. So for example, if you see here the usual shortcut. So this is an idea associated with the welcome to X mind. How to map it? So that is associated with the welcome to X mind. Same way, all these are different other ideas. It's like a something like a, um, a sub ideas or such, something similar. So if you see there, how to map is internally mapped with uh, sub ideas like press, input, enrich, structure, beautify. Same way in terms of every every ideas, and also we can group them into a particular summary or something like that. So uh, so this particular X mind tool um, helps us in doing that. So if let's say you are presenting something to somebody and if you want to convey that okay, um, this is my idea. So this is how um, my other ideas are related to that or this is how we want to implement something. So you can um, use XMind. Uh, it, it's very good in uh, in terms of visual representation. So that is why I started using it. So for example, if you notice here, this particular um, idea, you can add lots of uh, smileys, logos and uh, stuff so that you can visually um, increase the depth to that particular uh, representation so if you are using if you're familiar with flow charts or something so it is almost similar to that but it's not directly like a flow chart or a map or something but it adds more visual representation to it so for example um, this particular um, representation is a map so you can even change it to a different uh, balance map or you can even change it to a chart or something like that so if you see here the structure can be changed to an org chart um, for up and down down to up tree chart uh, or even a map so right now this is the balance map uh, or you can even have it have as a time timeline which is horizontal or vertical so these are different uh, ways in which you can map these and you can style them as well so there are lots of other softwares which does this but i i felt x mind is like better uh, so it, uh, at work i started using free mind but that's not great like how x mind does but x mind is very very good in terms of um, um reusability and user friendliness for example i just you can just tab, press a tab button and you can just start adding an idea if you if you tap again then it will create a subtopic and you can go on same way if you want to create any link linkages between um different ideas you can do that as well so it's pretty good actually so you can play around with it and then the visual representation is just um eye catching so that's it for this session Meet you guys in the next series. Thank you.